Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I was watching YouTube and just to prepare myself for the baby coming home, um, I'm third, let's see where I'm at. <clears throat> uh, I should know how far along I am, but I am 37 weeks and three days. So um, I really, like, she could come out any time, so I wanted to pack my hospital bag, and I've been watching a lot of videos of it, and I just thought it was something really fun, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's something that I can do now because I'll be a mommy, so I wanted to do that myself, and I have a lot of friends that, um, are pregnant around the time, and I don't know if they watch my videos or not, but if they do, I hope this helps them as well. Um, just because like we're all first time mothers and I know there's a few videos out there of hospital bags, but, um, I just wanted to feel what I was going to be packing. So if you're interested in what's going to be in my hospital bag, then just keep on watching. On and on we'll go. So, um, let's see. I don't know if I want to do her bag and sorry if my hair's a mess, like, I'm just a mess right now. I'm just, um, yeah. So we will do her bag first, just because it's more fun, I guess. I don't know. Um, so this is what I packed all of her stuff in. I'll back up a little bit. Um, I got this as a baby shower gift. I believe you can get this backpack at Walmart. Um, but it has a lot of nice pockets. Um, this pocket has her wipes in it, so you can, like, refill it. I already have a wipe in there. Um, but you just undo that and then just take the wipe from that pocket. This pocket is for her bottles. As you can tell, it's insulated, so it'll keep the bottle cold or warm or whatever. And then... I don't have anything in this pocket, but let's just get into her bag. So, I kind of wanted to fill or pack hers a little light, um, just in case, I don't know. Um, I heard and like researched that a lot of the times the hospital supplies some stuff. Um, so I just wanted to film or um, pack what I think I would need photography wise for her because I am going to get a little 48 hour for photo shoot um so with her she'll have different outfits but then again like I don't know how big she'll be so yeah so I'm still unpacking stuff so I'll just start with the ones that I already have out so the first thing that I pretty much packed really um was her swaddles because I know that I'll be using swaddles on her um I brought this swaddle. I got this one off of Amazon. Um, a lot of these were baby shower gifts, but I know where they came from because I asked for them. You know what I mean? So, um, this is her first swaddle. And it's a simple little white swaddle. And then I was going to use it as a background on the little bed that she lays on. Um, because she's going to be swaddled in this one. This one is um, homemade. Um, my best friend got me this and one of her friends made it. So, I was really like... I was so shocked that she um, made this for me and got it for me and it's really soft so she's gonna be wrapped in this and then she's gonna have this little bow on for her pictures so I was really I can't wait for that photo shoot because she's gonna look so cute um next I got um, I packed um, burping rags um, just in case, you know, because like I'll obviously be feeding her. And then I know they'll have burping rags there, but just in case, I just brought two just in case I need them. And then I have multiple different outfits because, like I said, I don't know how big she's going to be when she's born. Um, so I brought two zero to threes because I was a nine pound baby. I don't know if I fit in newborns or whatnot, but I bet back then newborns were fitted a little bigger. I don't know. So I just brought two different sizes, so a total of four outfits. Um, the first outfit is one of the ones that I really liked and I wanted to bring home to her, but it's a zero to three outfit. Um, it's this little 
onesie with little booties, you know, like cover her toes and stuff. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, it's the Nicole Miller brand. I got a lot of her brands when I was shopping for her. And it comes with a little cute matching hat. It has a little bow on it. Um, but that would be her coming home outfit if she's a zero to three size. Um, so I guess I just have three outfits. I have one zero to three and the other two are newborn. So this one's is another newborn one. This one I also got at TJ Maxx. It just has all these animals muted colors kind of thing. And it has giraffes little footsies. And that's just to chill at the hospital. Like I said, I, I'm a first time mom so I don't know what they will supply me if they will even supply me outfits. But like I said, I just wanted to bring them just in case. And then if she fits in newborns, this will definitely be her newborn outfit coming home because oh, this outfit is seriously the cutest outfit. So I got these little pants, put it like up. And then these are from Walmart. I believe I got these for, um, my baby shower so and then I have this that is best smile ever and then matching those pants and then this little bow will go on her because I was bald Colin was bald so she's gonna be a bald baby so she's gonna have to have accessories and then I brought a hat just in case it's cold in the hospital or um, if they don't supply me a hat. So I just brought just one hat just in case. So these are her outfits that I wanted to bring. Next out of her bag I brought, um, I am bringing some pacifiers. Um, I already sterilized these. I already washed all of her stuff that I already packed for her too by the way. I do recommend that just so... The clothes are nice and clean because you know people touch them on their shopping and then so her skin's already used to the detergent so okay and the next thing I wanted to bring for her is this little um, winter suit um, it's a little unicorn one but I'm having her in January and Indiana weather is so unpredictable it's ridiculous so I don't know if it'll be sunny the one day and then blizzarding the next day but I just wanted to be prepared for this so when we're taking her home she's nice and warm um let's see I'm bringing socks for her just in case and then her little blankie that I want her to sleep with as well so I want her to be nice and comfortable and sleep really nice with this very soft blanket okay so for me um, like I said, I was going to be taking pictures, so I have to bring makeup, so I'm bringing my makeup bag as well as, um, body wash and face wash because clearly I'll need to take a shower, so I'm bringing those as well. Um, next I am bringing a letter board um, for, um, the baby's pictures. Um, I am bringing that as well for her pictures. And then... I bought this from Amazon. It's like a little robe and I was seeing if it would match her little swaddle I have but they don't really match as well so I don't know if I'm going to want to take a picture with this but I'm just bringing this just in case. And then next is definitely a wireless bra. I have three of these kind of bras. You get this at um, Pink Victoria's Secret. I believe they're called the lounging bra I believe. I worked there for four years. These are the lounging bras. I think they still have them. I'm hoping they still have them because I need to buy more of them. Um, but these are the bras that I will be wearing for nursing. It's so easy to take off and it's so freaking comfortable. Um, I had bought nursing bras and they were not comfy at all. So these are the only ones that I really liked. Um, so I'm definitely taking multiples of those just in case. I know... Um, I watched a few videos and the moms were saying how after, you know, um, you give birth, you're really swollen down there, you're, you're hurting down there. I don't know if I'm going to give birth to her naturally or um, C-section. You know, clearly things could happen. So I want to make sure I have really comfy pants, but not like really tight pants that it would be like too tight on my stomach and down below 
Um, so I'm making sure I have sweatpants. Um, these are sweatpants joggers from Pink. Um, however, I am bringing these really big pregnancy leggings. Clearly, I'll still have my stomach. Um, but these are really big on me and they're very comfy. So I'm hoping that that doesn't affect the downstairs area. Um, and if those do, I have really loose joggers they're pretty much like pj joggers i got these at pink as well um for me though however they are see-through but i'm going home so i could care less if they're see-through or not um but the black ones are see-through if you're thick like me um you'll definitely see your skin but those are the most comfy pjs kind of because i wear them for pjs now since they're see-through um they're the most like com more most comfiest um pj pants so i'm hoping those don't aren't like tight around my stomach area um make sure i have my toothbrush and toothpaste i already have that packed that's my traveling toothbrush clearly and then i'm bringing sleeping socks or socks in general because just for me to walk around um, the hospital, I was going to bring slippers, but a lot of um, videos that I've watched, a lot of the moms brought their slippers, but they never used them, they said, because they got too hot. I most likely probably won't even use these because I know I will get too hot, knowing myself. Um, <clears throat> but I am going to bring like flip-flops, like shower shoes kind of thing, so I can shower with them, and then if I do need to walk, I'll at least have shoes um, to walk around with. Um, but this is a shirt. This is a really big shirt um, that will not be so compressing on me. It's really big. It's a, I'm normally, even with my pregnancy, I'm probably at the most an extra large, and this is a 2X, so... I just wanted something to be very comfortable, like not compressing at all. I got another pair of um, pants. Um, I got at Victoria's Secret as well. These are the sleeping pants and these are also an extra large. I'm hoping they fit me after. Um, they should be able to fit me, but I brought multiple pants just because like that is the main thing that I need to make sure I'm comfortable in. So. I have multiple different options for when I'm going home so and then last but not least a very thick cardigan so I can wear when I'm going home and because who knows if I'll have a jacket on me I don't know so and then another shirt as well so that is what is in mine um oh I packed uh, I believe nipple butter I packed that I don't know where that's at in her bag though but I know I packed it um, I'm not bringing like pads diapers for me or for um, the baby because the doctors normally supply that um, let's see here I believe this is all that I am bringing because I don't want to bring too much stuff but I know that I need necessities, but um, my sister's had a baby and she's told me what not to bring, such as my own pads, mom. I am bringing underwear. Um, I haven't packed those yet because I have to wash them because I just bought them, but I got them at Walmart and I've already worn one of them just because I needed a panty right away because um, I can't control my bladder now, which is nuts. I didn't think that would ever happen. But I can't control my bladder right now. So, every single morning, it's just a mess. And so, yeah. But they will supply me diapers. They will supply me diapers for the baby. They will, I believe, supply me a onesie for the baby. Um, yeah, so I, I'm not bringing those kind of stuff, but I am bringing my own panties, but I know that the, the hospital will supply me panties, um, but I just have to wait to see, you know, how I feel and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that is what is in my hospital bag. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anything. If any moms, um, are watching this and you see something that I'm completely forgetting or that I need to add or take off. Um, 
I like recommendations so please comment down below if you have any recommendations for me on what to do um, before I give birth because I give birth in three weeks hopefully fingers crossed you know so yeah so i really hope that you guys enjoy this video i hope this video is helpful for moms to be first time moms to be as well um as myself um so yeah so i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you guys next time bye guys Hello.